Hello everyone, I am Sonali Kanaude, Assistant Professor of Computer Engineering Department of All India Sri Shivaji Memorial Society, Institute of Information Technology, Pune. Uh, today we are going to discuss about introduction to uh, decision support system and business intelligence. In this video, we are discuss about the decision support system, then uh, definition of system, representation of the decision making system, uh, system or process, then evolution of inform, uh, information system and decision support system. So, uh, what is decision support system? A decision support system is a computer program application used to improve a, company, a company's decision making capability. And it analyzes large amount of data and uh, presents on, uh, an organization with the best possible option available. That uh, in the uh, decision or DSS uh, brings together data and knowledge from different areas and source to provide users with information behind the usual re uh, reports and summary. This is uh, intended to help people make informed decisions. Uh, then typical information or decision support uh, application might to uh, gather and present uh, include the following uh, include the following then comparative sales figures between one week and the next then projected revenue figures based on new product sales uh, assumption and the uh, consequences of different decisions so that are uh, so uh, decision support system is an informational application as opposed to an operational application. Then uh, a decision support system, that, that is DSS, is a computer-based information system that supports uh, business or organization decision-making activities. So there are several types of uh, DSSs um, that includes communication-driven uh, DSS, document-driven DSS, and knowledge-driven DSS, model-driven DSS, and data-driven DSS. So, uh, what is system? The a business in, a business intelligence system provides the process of collecting, analyzing, and processing data into user uh, usable information and their, their presentation. For this purpose, it comprises a variety of tools, application, and method uh, that enables the company to collect, prepare, and analyze information from uh, internal system and internal inter external sources. So, collected data can be stored. Uh, detached from operating uh, uh, systems in a data warehouse, not only uh, to create a uniform data, but uh, basis of for analysis, but also to avoid uh, slowing down operating uh, system through data intensive uh, evaluation. So the uh, information obtained is made available to decision makers and company employee in visual form in reports and dashboards. So the on this basis, part of the company can be optimized, uh, profitability and sales increase and productivity improve. Furthermore, uh, operational efficiency um, efficiencies can be increased and future make, uh, market trends can be identified. Uh, thus, the use of BI can help companies to gain uh, a compa uh, competitive advantages. The the representation of the decision making process. Uh, the decision making process is a term uh, used to describe how company gets to a point where it can make uh, the best decision for its company. Then this process is a way to of think, way of thinking, way of seeing the world, and a method of arriving at what you believe uh, are the best possible decisions. From the day a company is founded, it is believed that each executive uh, should also be a manager in the right sense. It is believed that each executive should be able to take a right action with the help of appropriate decision making process. So, the best decision making process is one that uh, is not only efficient but also cost effective. Then the decision making process can be broken down into three steps. First is analyze of the current situation. Then the second is presentation of the data to the manager who can take the data and make the decision. Applying the uh, and third one is the applying the final decision. So this is the decision making process using business intelligence system. 
first is the uh, there is some uh, processes first benefit stages statistic data analysis uh, then define project data connection right like that then next is the evaluation of information system evaluation of information system performs means evaluation of performance is hard in hardware software computer networks data and human resources the main purpose of information system functionality performance uh, performances evaluation is upgrading and exceptionally uh, improvement in quality and maintenance so decision support system um, is a computer program application used to improve company system making capabilities then uh, decision support system brings together data and knowledge from different areas then typical information a decision support system might gather and present it to the following uh, things a competitive sales figures between one week and the next positive revenue figures based on the uh, new product sales assumptions and uh, consequences of different decisions so uh, this is the types of decisions of processing first is the driven uh, data driven uh, dss then next is the model driven dss then communication driven and group, uh, group dss uh, fourth one is the knowledge driven dss and last one is the document driven dss so first one is the data driven dss in that uh, it is a computer program that makes decision based on data in, uh, data from internal databases on external databases then model driven dss built on an uh, underlying decision model model driven dss uh, decision support system are customized according to the predefined set of user requirement to help analyze different uh, scenarios that meets uh, these requirements for example a model driven dss may assist with Scheduling or developing financial uh, statements. Then communication driven DSS means a communication driven DSS or group decision support system which is a variety of communication tools such as email, instance messaging or voice chat who allow more than one person to work on the same task. So then next is the knowledge driven DSS is a um, type of decision support system and the data that drives the system resides in a knowledge base uh, that is continuously updated and maintained by a knowledge management system. A knowledge driven DSS provides information to the user that is consistent with a company's business process and knowledge. And last one is the document driven DSS. A document driven DSS is a type of information management system that uses document to retrieve data. Document driven DSS enable user to search website or databases or uh, to find specific search terms. For example, the uh, document access by document driven DSS include policies and procedures, meeting, uh, meeting of minutes and corporate records. And next is the development of decision support system. The decision support system is a computer program application used to improve company's decision making capabilities and it uh, analyzes large amount of data and presents of organization with the best possible uh, options available. The four stages of Simon's decision making process. Simon's four phases of decision making are first is the intelligence, the next decision, then third one is the choice, and fourth one is the implementation. This is the uh, this is the, the phases of decision making process. Uh, then uh, exactly what is the business intelligence? What is the business intelligence? Uh, the business intelligence is the software that ingests business data and presents in user-friendly views such as report dashboard charts and graphs. How does business intelligence work? Uh, business uh, intelligence platform traditionally rely on data warehouse for their uh, baseline information and a data warehouse um, aggregates data from multiple data sources into uh, one central system to support business analytics, uh, analytics and reports. Uh, business intelligence software queries the, where, the warehouse and pre, uh, present the result to the user in the form of report charts and maps. So, uh, 
data warehouse can include an online analytical process that is OLAP, engine to support multidimensional queries. And OLAP uh, business intelligence architecture uh, and its components. A business intelligence architecture is the framework that organizes and deploy a collection data, administrating of information and supporting all the technologies of business intelligence. A successful business intelligence tool depends majorly upon a sustainable architecture. The process of creating a BI architecture is divided into three areas. First one is the uh, data collection, then information management and business intelligence. So the, there are some components uh, of BI. First one is the OLAP. Online, OLAP means online analytical processing. The next is the corporate performance management CPM, uh, advanced analytics, then real-time BI, data warehousing, and data sources. These are the components of uh, BI. Then uh, there are some uh, benefits of BI. First is the organization can use BI tool at this stage of analyze, manage, and visualize business data through which they can stay relevant and maximize their uh, revenue stream. Now, so the benefit is first is the uh, quick and accurate reporting, delivering business insights that add to the business, insightful data analysis, improving data quality, enhancing operational data efficiency, achieving customer satisfaction. Then understanding market trends and improving decision making process. And last one is the uh, lower margin and revenue. Thank you.